Hi, my name is Onza and welcome back to the 5th episode of Manchester. In this episode we will be building the small suburban town of Franklin and adding a new train station to a commuter line which I built off camera because I forgot to record. To record. And if you're new to this channel and to this series, New Manchester is my YouTube series where I build and talk about an American city and how it was developed and built with varying levels of historical and factual accuracy. So, yeah, you've been warned. So, right now I'm building the local roads for the suburbs part of Franklin or the residential parts. I I built the strip mall off camera and it was quite boring. It was just slap a few stores in there and build a giant parking lot. So kinda boring. So yeah. Also if you haven't noticed Franklin is named course after Benjamin Franklin and also it's an homage to a series by Do Not Eat who now who makes the Well There's Your Problem podcast and also other stuff and his videos are quite interesting and the podcast also so here's a, a recommendation for something to listen while you're bored or study well you'll be laughing when you listen to the podcast you're going to laugh so much that you won't actually do much studying so now I'm building the suburb and adding some trees because that's the only way of decorating that I'm com comfortable with because it doesn't blow up the computer Now I'm adding a bus line, or, which could be classified as bus rapid transit it's in some areas, I guess, but probably not because it's just articulated buses and bus rapid transit usually has like double articulated buses or something. Yeah, it's just a bus line that drives on the side of the road. Nothing special. So yeah. I'm now changing the bus stop sizes so it's not both too long and not too short because if it would be too short then the buses wouldn't fit but if it would be too long then it would not look great. Really. I actually don't know why there is a mechanic that allows to combine bus stops like if the stop would be longer than you know you could fit more buses on it it would be great for like running a rail replacement bus where you cut a line a train line back a one stop while you are like detailing it changing it and other stuff and there is like three buses waiting on the stop at the same time so they go at the same time and other stuff I think it could be done like with disabling vehicle unbunching or something but I don't know I hope Colossal Order adds it when City Skylines 2 launches actually it probably it, it was leaked in a database leak from G NVIDIA, so that's pretty neat. We'll be getting a new game, which will probably have better performance, because this game also is lagging a lot. Yeah, you could have seen it right now, because the when I was messing with the tree brush or forest brush, I the game lagged a lot, so I hit F1, which is for those who don't know the quick save button 
so it lagged even more. It was a really horrifying experience. I didn't I don't want to lose like a lot of my time I spent building this. And also it's quite annoying. Yeah. I hope this yeah, this is the end of the end of the rant, so I'll be now talking about what's going on. Now I'm building the town of Northern Junction. I'm adding the train line now. This is going to be a really simple train station, just one bay platform. Bay platform, like, there's going to be two tracks and a bay platform, so the trains just stop there and can't go further, but there's not really a point. I mean, I guess they could merge on the main line, but yeah, there. I don't want really to build other places on the main line because it just looks weird. Like the stations look weird. It looks, it probably looks okay, but the stations I have don't look really look great when added to the main line because I still mainly use vanilla stations and like pre-built stations, not like the really custom ones that you built. God damn it, again rent. Yeah, so now I'm building the train station and adding a ramp for disabled people. And actually it's going to be just the access ramp for the station because the station is probably quite new. There was probably an older one and but that station was destroyed when it was not used enough so after a while when the train service returned people wanted it back so they just built a simple station a simple but functional station which is important you don't really need to have a giant palace on a station but it's, it's nice. Yeah. Now I'm trying to add a bus line but I gave up on that idea because most of the places are connected with bus lines. Also here's I'm adding a fence so people don't climb to this junction and it's basically a redundancy junction in case there's like you know a diversion on the main line like an issue. So the pe the people can the trains can bypass it and yeah. Now I'm trying to detail it because it needs some. But yeah, if you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't like it video, don't give it a like but you still probably should and if you really liked it subscribe and I'll see you when the next video launches so bye